The earliest footage of Douglas dates from 1920, taken just as the island's tourist industry was getting back on its feet after the First World War. Hundreds of thousands of visitors were making their way back to their favorite seaside resort, and Douglas welcomed them with open arms. Each day, thousands would walk down to the promenade or take one of the cable cars to the beginning of Victoria Street. The old sea terminal building with its clock tower was a familiar sight to visitors, and it marked the beginning of one of the finest seafronts in the British Isles. Although Lock Promenade had been developed in the 1870s, the sunken gardens were yet to be built, but the promenade was still the place to take the sea air, lounge on the seats, and show off the latest fashions. Telegraph poles were a feature of the prom in those days, and street lighting was at a minimum. The Villa Marina had been opened just before the war, but the splendid colonnade was still to be built. The Palace Entertainment Complex boasted an opera house, Europe's largest dance hall, and a theatre. Palace Terrace, note how none of the boarding houses were painted. They were all a uniform cement grey. By the early 50s, things were much more relaxed on Douglas Beach. Donkey rides, punch and duty of course, and deck chairs, hundreds of which were hired out every day from where you could watch the family enjoying a paddle in the sea. A feature of every seaside town was the bathing beauty competition. And here are the competitors. And this was a weekly ritual in the gardens of the Villa Marina. Packed to the edges with holidaymakers, girls on holiday and summer workers would don their bathing costumes and parade for the onlookers. Ah, there's the mayor with his cigarette. The judging was often done by visiting dignitaries or naval types, some of which couldn't help looking a little leery. This is the gateway to the island, and here alone are miles of holiday pleasures. Miles of silver-sanded beaches. In the 1960s, the promenade was offering lots of up-to-date entertainment in a desperate bid to compete against the increasingly popular continental holiday. Miles of shows from which to choose your evening entertainment. Although the British seaside holiday was still popular, resorts had to offer more sophisticated entertainment, and Douglas responded with a glittering nightlife. A different feather as Douglas swings into its gay and lively entertainment after dark, and the theatres and dance halls come alive. The promenades are ablaze with a million lights as the holiday capital goes gay from dusk to five o'clock in the morning if you can stand the pace. The one thing that Manx Law allowed, which no other British resort could offer, was a casino. A recent addition to the merry whirl is the casino. Giving a After a shaky start with police raids and prosecutions, the casino became an established part of Manx life. And if you were ready for a fashionable prawn cocktail or avocado vinaigrette, then the restaurants were ready for you. Then wine and dine in elegant restaurants with top flight cuisine and service. For here you can enjoy yourself through to the dawn. Not surprisingly, Douglas Promenade has been the site of many sporting events. And in the 60s, car rallies were all the rage. And the car rally, a newcomer to the list of events, is fast growing in numbers and popularity. Already voted second best rally in Britain by top drivers, it is set for a brilliant future. Trial by stopwatch in the thrilling handling tests on Douglas Promenade.
trendy entertainment for the young was catered for as well, with top DJs visiting the Villa Marina and the Palace Lido. Beat groups, jazz combos, drums, guitars, saxophones, and amplifiers by the dozen. To be replaced by the more romantic strains of older and more stately music, as Ivy Benson and her all-girl orchestra set the rhythm for another of the outstanding attractions held at the Palace Ballroom. For the slightly older visitor, the annual ballroom dancing competition was a major draw. We had it long before Strictly Come Dancing. Attracting 3,000 dancers for the week of amateur and professional competitions under the keen eye of top judges. And to top it all off, the annual Douglas Carnival was the highlight of a busy season on Douglas Prom. All this then is Holiday Island, a land of beauty, pleasure and leisure, all summer long. And a land of gaiety when it's carnival time in August.